Alright, so yesterday we had the last game of the first fixture of this group stage. The game was Russia against South Korea and ended up with a 1-1 tie between the two teams. In the first half there weren't much chances. Both teams playing really well defensively, pressuring really well the opponents and the ball was mostly disputed at the midfield. Because of that, both teams had a really hard time reaching the opponent's box and creating dangerous chances. Having said that, in the last 15 minutes the game was a little bit more close to the boxes but still no major chances for any of the teams. This game was desperately needing for someone to shake the game and who did that were both of the coaches for the both teams because at the second half the game was much more alive with teams getting close to the, the opponent's boxes much more frequently passing the ball around much better without losing so many balls and so many plays in the first minutes of the second half was Korea that was a little bit better having a little bit more chances but still none of those chances were really dangerous they had a few shots on goal with Akin Fev the goalkeeper for Russia making a couple of easy saves and when the game turned into the other box also the same thing a few nice chances no real dangerous ones with the green goalkeeper making a few good saves. So even though this game was a little bit more alive with both teams getting a ball running really well into the opponent's box and having a slightly good chances, the game was really poor in real dangerous opportunities. And to have some goals we actually have to wait for a few unorthodox plays that happen. Korea's goal happened at minute 68 in a really good run by Lee Kun Ho through the middle. He opens a little bit of space by running a little bit to the right, has a really strong shot that was directly to the goalkeeper and Akin Fev, a really experienced goalkeeper, has an unbelievable mistake with the ball hitting his hands but going into the net anyway and it's 1-0. Korea is now in the front of the scoreboard. But three minutes later we had a Russian goal, a nice play through the left by the Russian players. The ball goes into the box, there's a shot, the goalkeeper saves it, but the ball is lost in the box, it's a really confusing play and Kerzakov shots into the box and it's 1-1, the game is tied and both goals happen in a very confusing place with mistakes made by both teams. Till the end of the game Russia was a little bit over in terms of quality but still both teams were really balanced and the game ends up 1-1 and I think that's a fair result. Both teams really played well in pressuring the other team without much chances created either in the first half or the second half even though in the second half the game was a little bit more closer to the boxings and a little bit less concentrated on the middle like in the first half but I still I think it's justified to the tie 1-1 I think was a really good end result. From what we've seen of both of these teams I think the second place of this group will be really an unknown because on the other game Belgium won over Algeria but Algeria really sold at a high price that loss being very consistent defensively and both Russia and South Korea although they played decently I don't think they have the quality to win points against Belgium so these three teams will be very interesting interesting games to watch even though none of them are really powerful offensively. So everybody the players that had a little bit of a better game were in my opinion for Russia, Farolin, Samedov and Zirkov and for South Korea, Lee Kun Ho coming off the bench played a really good game. He was the man that scored for South Korea but he did more than that. With him coming into the match South Korea stopped playing as they were before with positional passes and what I mean by that is passes that go directly to the position that their teammates are occupying at the moment and played a little bit more in spaces with more through balls to the runs of this guy taking advantage of open spaces here and there. But for me the best player of the game even though he was substituted was the player Son Hung Ming. He was really good in in terms of running with the ball and pushing his team up the field. He seemed to be very talented and skilled and was a player that shined more in the game, at least for me, so man of the match, Son Hung Min. So everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, like and share the video with all your friends, subscribe to my channel and as always, my name is Bruno Ferreira and I'll see you next time. <laughs>